<gasps> we are experiencing some scary stuff. And this time, I'm not talking about Halloween. I'm actually talking about this upcoming election. <laughs> hey, here is some Saturday manna, uh, some FFT or some food for thought for every single one of us. You know, uh, with this upcoming election, we have just heard so many things. We've heard rumors of, of unrest. Um, there's feelings of, of continued divisiveness and even uh, the, the rumors of fraud attempts being ran uh, rampant at some of the, uh, the voting places. Everybody is on edge. I'm telling you, everybody is on edge. You, you hear it, you start to feel it, and you're witnessing. But what if, what if out of all of that, that all of us real Christians, regardless of party, accepted God's will for the outcome of this election. <laughs> what? What did you say? I said, what if the real Christians, not the church folk, mm -mm, mm -mm, we don't need church folk. We talking about the real Christians. What if the real Christians, whatever the outcome of this election, immediately started praying sincerely, earnestly, honestly for the candidate, not for, not for your will to be done. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. Cause I know <laughs> some of y'all going to do just that, <laughs> but I'm talking about God's will. Like, like it was aligned in Romans 13, Romans chapter 13, man. Oh man. If we really did that, if all of us did that, um, what a move of God that could take place from the righteous prayer of the saints, again, for whichever uh, candidate is victorious. You know, um, we, we as Christians need to stand up. We, I, I said it a few weeks ago, we must pray. Uh, last week, I think I talked about nominating you <laughs> and that still stands. But man, this thing, when you look at it, it is real scary. But here's some food for thought. We as Christians need to be real careful that we're not caught up in the mess of having ungodly responses. Don't you get caught up in that. S Satan wants you to be caught up in the mess because, because you being caught up in the mess of, of whatever affiliation or whatever is going on takes your eyes off of Christ. And that is exactly where Satan does his best work because if he can get us focused on over here and God is here and he can get us focused over everything that's there. We miss the righteousness. We miss the benefits over there, but we'll still stay focused on the, the discontentment, the dissatisfaction, the displeasures uh, over here. And we will miss everything that God has in store for us. You know, I was, I was uh, at work the other day and I very rarely talk about work. So uh, I was at work the other day and a gentleman came up to me and he had a, he had a party hat on. I'm just going to just leave it like that. He had a party hat on and uh, I just made, made it seem like I didn't even acknowledge that hat because that's not what I was there for. We had such a wonderful conversation and it wasn't even about politics. It was about food. And, and in fact, the, the conversation went so well that after the gentleman got ready to step away, he turned to me and he said, God bless you. I said, hey, God bless you too. See, that's what it's all about. No matter what the opposite sides, no matter where we stand, it's all about God giving and doing the blessing. And then if we can just open up our eyes, FFT, good food for thought, and receive the blessings. Oh, wow. What a blessed privilege that we will have in the name of the Lord. So listen, don't get caught up in the mess. Don't get caught up in the hashtag foolishness. Amen. We need to do everything possible to avoid the very appearance of any type of evil doing. Okay, I'll take you to the word. Good. I'm glad you I'm glad you asked for it. Um, Jesus taught in Mark chapter seven, verses 18 through 21. This is what Jesus said. Are ye so without understanding? Do you not perceive that whatever things that entereth into man, it cannot defile him. I'm kind of paraphrasing because it enters not into his heart. It doesn't enter into his heart, but into the belly. And then it goes out with the drop, like, like purging anything that you, that you take in. It, it goes out with the drought. It's, 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 it's excreted. It's, it's excrement. It's waste. Amen. Um, and then Jesus goes on to say, what comes out of a man that 
defileth the man. What that which cometh out of the man that defiles the man. He, here it is. Here's what Jesus says in verse 21. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceeds evil thoughts, proceeds adulteries, fornications, murders, theft, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness. You have evil eyes. You have blasphemy. You have pride and foolishness. All those evil things come from within. And that is what defiles us. Saints, we should not let any kinds of behavior defile us. We should not let any type of evil response take us away from Christ and put us in a political arena or whomever it is that we support or whatever rights that we, we have. We should not let those things take us away from keeping our eyes on the prize of Jesus Christ. 1 Thessalonians 5.15 says, see that none of you render evil for evil to any man, any man, but always follow that which is good, both amongst yourselves and all men. It doesn't stop there because we got some scary stuff that we still deal with, y'all. It's some scary stuff if we continue to walk sideways. John, John, 3 John 1 and 11 says, beloved, follow not that which is evil, but that which is good. He that doeth good is of God, but he that doeth evil is not seen God. <laughs> yeah, yes. Check yourself. Check yourself before you wreck yourself because that's the kind of path that it seems like America is on. And what would be beneficial for us as citizens of the kingdom is, again, to pray for that elected official, whoever it is that gets into office. And I will remind you, that anything outside of the will of God as described in Romans chapter 13 is of us and not of God. Saints, <laughs> it's some real scary stuff that's about to take place next week, but it doesn't have to be if all of the real Christians, if all of us that claim as Americans in God we trust <laughs> if we really get on on our knees and fall in that prostrate or that prone position and take it to God, it wouldn't even matter what happened with the outcome of this election, because we know that we will be kept by the almighty God. And so I still nominate you to be a difference maker for change and response as we follow our maker. <laughs> Saturday manna, scary stuff, but it doesn't have to be. Blessings.